Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Hi, Claudia, it's a pleasure. Rolando, hello, Rolando, welcome. Okay. It's a pleasure to see you again. Let me open the document. Okay, I am opening the document. Okay, okay. Almost ready, almost ready. Uh, Rolando, a question, did you send the, the hoja de inscripción? Rolando, hello. Uh, Claudia, how about you, Claudia? Ya, ya envió la hojita de inscripción para el próximo curso, Claudia. Yo entiendo que la de recursos humanos ya lo envió. Ah, bye. ok, very good. Thank you. No tiene ese dato usted, no. No, no, uh, solo me pidieron que le recordara nada más. Este, ah, sí. sí, supuestamente porque... sí envió todo. Ok, I hope, espero que sí, ¿verdad? Espero también yo. Okay. Eh, Juan Alfonso, hello, welcome Juan Alfonso. Hello teacher, good evening. Eh, good evening, en su caso ya, ya enviaron la hojita de inscripción, Juan Alfonso. Mañana pregunto a Recursos Humanos, dicho. Ok, es que tenía entendido, según lo que me informaron, que ayer era el último día y que ahora estaban recibiendo ya como de última hora. Así que pregunte mañana por si... Déjeme preguntar en este momento, creo que puedo hacer un contacto con alguien de Recursos okay. Humanos. Ok, thank you, thank you. Eh, May, la misma pregunta, May, eh, usted ya envió la hojita de inscripción. Eh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sí, Hello. fíjese que sí. a mí, eh, bueno, en mi empresa sí hoy Recursos Humanos lo, lo envió y okay. nos habían colocado que estaba habilitado hasta mañana al mediodía, así que mm. todo lo que estamos acá en este programa hoy lo enviamos. Ok. Hoy llenamos el link, ¿verdad? De la inscripción. Ajá. Sí, eh, la, la información que yo tengo, que me, me, me dieron para que se las pasara a ustedes, que hasta ayer era el último día y que ahora se podía enviar así como, como extra, ¿verdad? Espero que no haya ningún problema porque ya el lunes arrancamos nuevamente, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí. sí ella, en la de Recursos Humanos nos había puesto, bueno, pero hoy compartieron ese correo. Okay. Que hoy nos inscribiéramos. Ajá. Ok, espero que todo vaya bien, ¿verdad? Rolando. <risa> Algo. Good evening, teacher. <risa> Algo abrigado ahí con su suéter. Es que <risa> acabo, de, Excuse me. Acabo, de, acabo de llenar la pila y me bañé. <risa> ah, ok. Good. Juan Alfonso, tell me, please. Teacher, este, ¿cuándo empieza el nuevo módulo? El lunes, lunes 23. Wow. Sí. Okay. Eh, si no lo han enviado, pues mañana sería como que rogando que de verdad no haya problema, porque van a estar bastante saturados en la oficina, así es que si puede comprobarme ahí, pues por favor, ¿verdad? Y Rolando igual, usted ya envió la hojita de inscripción, Rolando. Fíjese que a mí la... la cargada de recursos humanos solo me pregunta como ella está también en clase uh -huh. entonces como le urge a ella también por eso okay. es que nunca es que nunca <risa> nunca hay problema <risa> nunca hay okay. problema entonces sí. pero eh, no le pregunté el día de hoy fíjese teacher okay. pero es pero que como, como le digo, hasta ayer hasta ayer era el último día supuestamente así que 
Pero como le digo, lo bueno es sí. que ya está en clase y sí, le da más Usted solo dice, Rolando, yes or no? Yes, you say. And then, yes. Y fíjate, right? Ok, sí, good. Entonces, creo que ojalá primero de no haya problemas, teacher. Ok, very good. Carolina, in your case, Carolina. Hello, Caro. Eh, Hello, teacher. Fíjese que en nuestro caso, la directora nos pregunta, ya lo había hecho anticipadamente y ya le confirmamos. Y okay. continúa, vamos, ella se encarga de ese proceso. Excellent, thank you. You are with Alicia, right? Está con Alicia. Con Luis también. Con Carranza. Con Carranza, sí. Ok, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Entonces, vamos a preguntarle a Víctor. Hello, Víctor, welcome, good evening. Víctor, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eh, ¿Cómo estamos con la hoja de inscripción? ¿Ya la enviaron de su empresa, Víctor? Eh. Eh, recursos humanos la manda, teacher. Okay. Eh, pero eh, lo extraño que me parece de que a mí no me han mandado correo, teacher. Ok, puede verificar mañana, eh, Víctor, porque fíjese que nos están dando la instrucción que le recordemos, ¿verdad? Porque para el lunes ya comenzaríamos el nuevo curso, ¿verdad? Entonces, como aquí hay que apresurar lo, lo, los papeles, ¿verdad? Entonces, si me hace el favor de verificar okay. mañana, a... please. Vaya, de acuerdo. Okay, thank you, thank you. And Miguel, okay. Miguel, hello Miguel. Uh, ¿Cómo estamos con la inscripción, Miguel? Good evening. Eh, hello, teacher. Eh, dice que aún no ha recibido correo. Mm, bueno, igual, ¿verdad? Por favor, si me hace el favor de verificar mañana, porque, okay. porque yo entiendo de que el proceso es así. Les envían a ustedes un correo y ustedes tienen que regresar ese correo, ¿verdad? Pero que okay. como el caso de ustedes, Recursos Humanos les tramita, pues entiendo que Recursos Humanos se encarga de eso y que ellos reciben el correo. No, no estoy seguro, ¿verdad? Pero eh, como sea el procedimiento, me hacen el favor de verificar mañana porque en, en, en teoría ayer era el último día. Ayer. Y nos dijeron que van a estar recibiendo documentos hasta hoy, pero así como que, que no 100% seguro, ¿verdad? Y ya para mañana ya sería un poquito menos seguro todavía, así que, ¿verdad? Verifiquemos todos ahí, si me hacen el favor. Ok, so let's start with the class today. Let me see the platform. Ok. So today we're going to check the commentaries. Ladies and gentlemen, commentaries. Sí. Mm, sorry, I have problem with the internet. It's very slow. Maybe because of the wind. Oh, come on. No se puede accesar. Okay. Excuse me. Um, ahí estamos ya. Okay. Okie dokie. So we're going to, to watch the video again. He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Okay, Asking let's... about families. Part A. Let's... Okay, so we're going to practice conversation. Come on. Uh, yesterday we practiced two times, right? Caro, you, you weren't yesterday, so you are the first victim, sorry, the first student to practice, right? Okay. Caro and uh, Juan Alfonso, please. Uh, Caro, you are Rita, and Juan Alfonso, you are Sue. Bien, soy Okay, please. Okay, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Ajá, uh -huh, Juan Alfonso. You are Sue. O ok. Juan Alfonso. Well, later, right? So, Rolando, please help me. Rolando to the rescue. <laughs> so, you are Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working. One very sacred prayer right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's 
good life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the USA this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, very good. Any question about vocabulary? No? No question. Okay, Juan Alfonso, please. Hello, hoy sí ya me puede escuchar, Juan Alfonso. Hello, hello. No, ¿verdad? Y Luis me dice que también está teniendo problemas con el micrófono. Bueno, Víctor, can you help me, please, Víctor? Yes, going, teacher. Thank you. You're going to be Rita, eh, Víctor. And Miguel, you're going to be Sue. Please. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet him? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. In the Amazon. Can you imagine? In a very secret project in the Amazon, taking pictures, right? <laughs> okay, to finish, right? Let me see. Uh, Claudia, can you help me, please? You're going to be Rita? <laughs> Okay. And Abel, hello, welcome, Abel. You're going to be Sue, Abel. Okay, Abel. Please practice, practice. Tell me about your brother and sister. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. But it's that an interesting family. Can I admit him? Oh, no. My sister always. Uh, she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. In the Amazon. Very good. Okay. That's it, right? Let me see. Uh, okay, I guess that's enough. Now we're going to read the commentaries. But sorry, excuse me. Let me check something. Solo déjeme chequear un detalle técnico acá. Uh, come from a big family, quantifiers. Yes, quantifiers. The changing family. Uh -huh. Este es el tema que vamos a ver mañana. Quantifiers. Sorry, give me a, give me a second. Eh, 5.10 para mañana. No, ahora tenemos que cubrir este tema. Yes. Just give me a second. 5.11. Ah, pues sí, ok. Uh, let me see, let me see. Sí, sí, ahora tenemos que cubrirlo. Ok. Pero me dice que es 5.11 y solo tengo, sí, 5.11. Ok, good. Thank you. I'm sorry. Now it's time to, to start with the commentaries, right? Very good. Listen, Claudia Castro. My brother works in the hospital. My sister doesn't work outside the home. Excellent. Claudia, congratulations. That's nice. Miguel Calderón. My family is very special for me. I don't live with them, right? Solo una H me le faltó aquí, eh, Miguel, pero el comentario está bien, ¿verdad? Y uh, Miguel, para que no le diga nada en las mayúsculas, todo me la escribe, la escribe en mayúsculas. Está bien. Es válido, Miguel, es válido. 
Okay, thank you for your commentary. Thank you very much, Miguel. Okay, let me see. Rosa. Todavía creo que no está con nosotros, Rosa. Pero me escribe buenos comentarios. Vamos a ver qué dice Rosa, su yapa. Tell me about your family. Oh, well, my family is very big. I have five sisters and four brothers. Mm, nice. Very good. Abel. Missy Abel. Where do Rita's parents live? Ah, excellent. Listen, do Rita's parents. It's correct because parents is plural, right? They live in Texas. What do they do? Her mother is a teacher in the university and her father is a carpenter. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you, Abel. Thank you very much. Y aquí está uh, un comentario que es de Roxana Lisset Cornejo. Liz. Yo creo que esta compañera, esta compañera está en el grupo, pero creo que no se conecta con nosotros. Ok. Let's continue. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, let's continue. Uh, tell me about your family. Mm -hmm. Rolando Campos. Let me see Rolando Campos. My family is my father, my sister, and my brother. My father is retired. My brother works in a bookstore, and my sister has a print shop. Oh, interesting. Excellent information, Rolando. Thank you. Thank you. Y aquí tengo otros comentarios. No sé quién son. Vamos a ver. Silvia. Silvia estaba con nosotros, pero no se ha conectado últimamente. Yes. Ella comenta inclusive en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? No sé por qué. Eh, si no se ha conectado con nosotros. Silvia Roxana. Ok. Your family, tell me about your family. Solo eso nos escribió, ¿verdad? Y el último comentario, igual, Silvia Roxana no, no nos escribió nada más, solo eso, ¿verdad? Ok, good. So those are the commentaries. Thank you very much. Welcome, Lorena. And welcome, Claudia Xiomara. Welcome. Now let's start with the... Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Claudia. Ok, we practice this, right? The knowledge check. And the present continues, right? Let's see the video. Veamos el video para qué. Box. Para que nos acordemos del tema, right? No. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tecno, tecno. Yeah. <laughs> este... Este internet le juega cada broma uno. Is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes she is. No she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? 
Type your answers in a discussion box. Okay. So this is the, the topic we, we checked yesterday, right? In the PowerPoint presentation and, and here, right? In the, in the class, on the video, right? Now, uh, again, we have Miguel Calderon. Excellent. I like when you participate. Where are you living? I am living in La Libertad, say Miguel. That's nice. Excellent. Good structure. Uh, Vicky, okay, I don't know. Rosa Suyapa, very good. What is your sister doing right now? She's studying English. Uh -huh, nice. Abel, what are you doing right now? I am studying English in English class. And eating pupusa, my goodness, Abel. That's nice. Okay. Yesterday we had Josue Campo, right? Eating ice cream. And today we have Abel eating pupusa, right? Nice. Okay. With a chocolate. And Abel, in, with this weather, con este frito, okay? A pupusita yes, ahí con, con chocolatillo. <laughs> okay. Very hot. Very hot. Yes, you're right. Eh, Roxana, creo que es Silvia Roxana, ella está con nosotros, pero no, no sé por qué no se conecta. Veamos, Roxana Lisset, Cornejo, no, no hay. No, ¿verdad que no, no está ahorita en el grupo? No, ok. Rolando Campos, este, este estudiante siempre me comenta, pero no sé quién es, no sé. Ok, where Thank are you? you where are you working now? Ok. Aquí. Aquí hubiera hecho la técnica de Miguel, este, Rolando. Toda mayúscula, capital letter. Y se le olvidó la capital letter at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Where are you working, right? I am working at the airport. Ah, aquí sí la puso. Eh. Where your... Ah, aquí está... Um, where is your brother working? Sería aquí, Rolando. Where is yes. your brother working? O si era en presente simple, era where does your brother work? Sin la S. Ajá. No, era una pregunta. Es, Ajá, pero en presente continuo, en presente es, simple. Do, no era continuo igual. En, Usted quería ponerlo continuo. Es, era working. Ajá, ok. Where sí. is your brother working? Sería entonces, ¿verdad? He is. Sí. Aquí siempre en inglés pongámosle el sujeto porque... En español sí, sí podemos, pero en inglés siempre hay que poner el sujeto. He's working in the house. Nice. Thank okay. you, Rolando. Thank you to everybody for the commentaries. Okay, now we have a conversation for today. Let me see. 5.6. 5.6. Yes, in a second. Let me check something here. Yes, 5.6. This is the class for today. But we're going to see the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Okay, good. I come from a big family. Quantifiers. Oh, excuse me. Today we're going to see the quantifier, right? Ok, the lesson objective. Eh, Lorena, ¿cómo estamos con el micrófono, Lorena? Hello. No, ¿verdad? No, no funciona. Bueno. Yes, hello, hello. Hoy oh, sí le escucho, Lorena, pero hasta el fondo se oye. <ríe> sí la oigo. Good evening. Se le descargó el celular. Vaya, eh, usted lea y yo le voy repitiendo aquí a los compañeros, Lorena. Read, please. Ah, vaya, está bien. Teacher. Yeah, give, give me a second. Permítame que me están hablando, eh, Lorena. Hello. Permítame, Lorena. Ajá. ¿Quién me está hablando ahí? Hello, hello. Hello. Abel. Abel. No, puede, no, no estoy viendo la presentación. Ah, no está viendo la presentación. Ah, pues ese error mío, no se preocupe ahorita. Ahorita resolvemos, okay. a ver, sorry. Es que la tecnología sí que nos, nos pone de cabeza, ¿verdad? Por eso admiro a los compañeros de la, 
del área técnica, que ellos se la saben de todas, todas. Now, Abel, yes? Hoy sí, Abel. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you to tell me, right? Now, Lorena, please, read the, the objective, please. Let me see. Okay, teacher. Just give me a second, yes. Uh -huh, come on. Lesson objective. Uh, yes, yes, I listen. Only uh, Lorena, repeat quantifiers. Repeat quantifiers. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lorena. Vaya, mire, pero ahora le escucho. Eh, Alicia, me di, Alicia me dijo la vez pasada que a lo lejos le escuchaba, pero hasta hoy le escucho yo a lo lejos, pero se le, se le oye, se le entiende. <laughs> ok. Thank you, Lorena. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Eh, we're going to practice with this vocabulary, the quantifiers. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one, oh, only that, right? So listen, uh, when you don't, don't say a number exactly, you tell quantifier, right? You use quantifiers, I'm sorry. Uh, for example, instead of say, let's say we have uh, 25 students, right? I don't say 25 students, I say all students, right? But if I have, for example, 25 students and only 23 students are in the class, I say nearly all, right? Nearly all. Or most, that means la mayoría, right? Nearly all means casi todos and most is la mayoría, right? Many, for example, the students are 25, we can say 20 students is many, right? or a lot of, right? Or some students. Good, uh, if I have 25 students and I have only 10 students, right? Or five students, I say in this case, not many, or a few, a few, right? Uh, and the same is few, unos cuantos, poquito, right? Poquitos. Good. And no one means zero student, right? Zero students. Okay. Now, this is the way we practice with quantifier, but we're going to see more. For the moment, please repeat after me. All. Nearly all. Most. Many. A lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one, okay. Good. Any extra question? Questions? Questions? No. Okay. Good. Now, we use quantifier with count nouns. Count nouns are things that we can count, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. right? Count nouns. And count nouns are separable, separable. And count nouns are singular and plural. Only one singular and more than one, plural, right? Again, countable nouns are countable, we can count them. Countable nouns are separable, we can separate them. And they are plural and singular, right? 
Example, in singular. A meal, for example, right? Una comida. You can make uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? One meal, a meal, right? An egg. Remember that when the noun starts with a with a consonant, we use a. And when the noun starts with a with a vowel, we say an an a, right? Okay, good. Then we have more plural. Some eggs. A few potatoes. So we can use quantifiers with count nouns. Many cars. Many cars. Okay, with no count nouns. Just give me a second, please. Uh, that firulais is bothering, right? <laughs> es que firulais me está mordiendo ahí los libros. Give me a second. Okay. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. Good. Now, uh, non-count nouns. Non-count nouns are things that are no separable. No separable, right? They are, they don't have plural or singular, no. And they are not countable. They are not countable. For example, food, food in general, right? Right? All food, we can say, right? Nearly all water. In the case of water, for example, we can say one water, two waters, three waters. And no, incorrect, right? So also is no separable, right? And they don't have plural or singular, the water. Now let's continue. Some use a lot of salt. It's not good for your health, by the way, right? A lot of salt. So food, water, juice, and salt are uncountable. No count, non-count, right? And we can use quantifier with both. We can use quantifier with count nouns and non-count nouns, right? In this case, to say una comida, un huevo, right? We say a meal, an egg. But in plural, we say some eggs, a few eggs, and many cars. Okay? All food, nearly all water, some juice, a lot of salt. Okay? Good. So, these are examples. Now, let's continue with more. Quantifiers that are exclusive for count nouns. All, nearly all, most, a lot of, some, many, not many, a few, few. Okay, uh, sorry, I, 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 I will correct. Is... Uh, not exclusive with count nouns. These are the, the quantifiers that we can use, right? Que los podemos usar con los count nouns. Yes? So all of these. Todo esto podemos usarlos con count nouns. Let's start talking about apples, right? Apples. All apples, nearly all apples, most apples, a lot of apples, some apples, many apples, not many apples, a few apples, few apples, right? For example, right? Now, uh, no one is... Nothing, right? Nothing. Now, the quantifiers that we can use with count nouns, with no count, sorry. All, nearly all, most, a lot of, some, only that, right? <laughs> okay. So, for example, uh, many, Not many, a few, few, and no one. We can use them with the uh, with the non count, right? For example, you cannot say many water. No, no. A few water. No, it's not possible, right? Okay. Ah, some. I forgot the use of some, right? Good. Some can be used for both with count nouns and non count nouns. Look, the same of a lot, most, and nearly all. All of these 
all, nearly all, most, a lot of, and some can be used with so, with both, countable noun and not countable. Many, no many, a few, few, and no one are exclusive for count noun, right? For countable noun. Any questions so far? Questions? Okay, now let's continue. Let's continue, right? Example, right? All students made their homework. Students are countable. All use was good. Use is no countable, right? So we can use all, this quantifier, for Countable and no countable. Nearly all cars were working. Cars are countable. Nearly all food was good. Food is no countable, right? Most houses are beautiful. Houses are countable. Most oil was spilled. Derramado, right? Spilled. Oil is no countable. Okay? Good. So, any questions so far? No? Okay, good. Now let's practice, please. All students made their homework. Repeat, please. All students made their homework. All Jews was good. All Jews was good. Nearly all cars were working. Nearly all cars were working. Nearly all food was good. Nearly all food was good. Most houses are beautiful. Most houses are beautiful. Most oil was spilled. Most oil was spilled. In this case, eh, derramar, right? Okay. Any question? No. So, let's continue. More example, right? Many fast food restaurants serve hot dogs. Many is exclusive for count now because restaurants can uh, be count. Okay? Good. There is a lot of salt in this soup. A lot is for both, for countable and not countable, right? There is a lot of salt in this soup. He eats a lot of hamburgers. Ah, hamburgers are countable, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of salt and, and a lot of hamburger, hamburgers, sorry. There are some eggs in the refrigerator. Some eggs. Eggs are countable. There is some milk in the cup. Milk is no countable. So we can use some for both, right? Okay, now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. 
Many fast food restaurants serve hot dogs. Many fast food restaurants serve hot dogs. There is a lot of salt in this soup. There is a lot of salt in this soup. He eats a lot of hamburgers. He eats a lot of hamburgers. There are some eggs in the refrigerator. G, G, refrigerator. There are some eggs in the refrigerator. There is some milk in the cup. There is some milk in the cup. Okay? Questions? Questions, questions. I'm afraid, eh? Me siento. Chair, ah, eh, yes. Eh, uh -huh. En el caso, por ejemplo, donde dice, he eats a lot of hamburgers. Hamburger, y ahí no, no, o sea, no existe la, la posibilidad de también usar some. Sí, sí. He eats some hamburgers. Eh, yes, yes. Yes, no. it's possible. Sí se puede. Yes. yes, sí se puede. Yes. Si quiere, veamos. Porque esto es un poco confuso para memorizárselo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, vaya, le voy a decir cuáles se pueden usar solo con contables, ¿verdad? Y no, y, y no se pueden usar en no contables, ¿right? Uh -huh. Many, not many, a few, few y no one. Estos, desde many hasta no one, son exclusivos de los contable names, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, no puedo sí. decir many water, no, no, no puedo decir eso. O a few juice. Mm -mm, no se puede. ¿Sí? Entonces todos estos son solo de contable now, right? Obviamente esta, esta presentación se la voy a mandar al grupo, pero para que le quede claro. Luego, estas, all, por ejemplo, all se puede usar en, en ambos. Puede decir usted all hamburgers o all juice. ¿Sí? Se puede en ambos. Nearly all. Nearly all cars. Nearly all oil, right? Most, most friends, most gasoline. En ambos se puede usar. A lot of, a, a lot of salt, en, en no contables, como vimos ahorita, a lot of salt, a lot of what? Oranges, un montón de naranja, ¿verdad? Un montón de, de, de cosas, de aceite, de agua, de, de petróleo, I'm sorry, de de, de agua, sorry. <ríe> ok. Y muchas naranjas, right? Some. Aquí está el ejemplo que me preguntaba. Podemos usar some restaurants and some, some hamburgers, some people. And we can also say some salt, some water, some soda, right? Understand? Yes. Ok, good. Y aquí vemos los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Vaya, aquí está all para contable. Los verdecitos son contable, right? Está all para no contable, en azul, blue, color blue. Nearly all para contable, nearly all para no contable. Most para contable, most para no contable, right? Y um, tenemos más ejemplos acá. Ok, wait a minute. Ahí estamos. Many para contable, ¿ve? ¿eh? A lot of para ambos. Salt and hamburgers. Y some se puede usar para eggs y para también no contable, milk. ¿Verdad? Todos los verdecitos son contable y los azules son... Bueno, aquí me quedo casi celeste, ¿verdad? 
eh, son para no contable. ¿Ok? Y podemos combinarlo, podemos decir a lot of salt, a lot of milk, a lot of hamburgers, a lot of eggs, a lot of milk. <laughs> yes, we can use it, right? Lo único que debe tener en claro es cuáles se pueden usar solo en contable. ¿Sí? Ok. Good. Any other question? Les cuento un secreto. A mí me fascinan las preguntas, ¿verdad? Si es que no tengan pena por eso. Me agrada que me pregunten. Yes. No questions? Ok, let's continue, please. Uh, ah, here we have more example, right? No many kids like vegetables. There are a few cookies in the box. There are a few cookies. No, oh, in the box again, right? Se me repitió. Few friends came to her party. No one was on the street. Not many is exclusive for contables. Look, kids. Not many kids exclusive for contables. Kids. Niños, right? Few cookies. Few cookies. Cookies are contable. Few friends. It's not unos cuantos amigos, unos poquitos, right? No one was on the street. No había nadie en la calle, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. So those are the examples of quantifiers. I don't know if you have any extra question. Extra question. Ok, so let's go to the platform and it's time to work in the platform, right? Let me see. Here we are, right? Good. We're going to start with a conversation and then we're going to finish with quantify, right? Let's practice this conversation. Listen, please. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcos talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers? Okay, now let's practice pronunciation. Let's practice pronunciation and vocabulary, right? Now, come on, please. Good. Uh, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many sisters and brothers, sorry, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am an only child. Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? About? What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. 
I come from a big family. I have three brothers. I have three brothers and two sisters. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Only in El Salvador is typical, right? Okay. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. These days. Smaller. A lot of. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great. Great. But big families are great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Birthday, lots of, because you get lots of birthday presents. Good. Any questions about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary? It's smaller and smaller. Smaller, okay. Small, small is the comparative, uh, sorry, smaller is the comparative for small. So you say small, pequeño, smaller, oh no, sorry, it's the opposite. Small, smaller, pequeño, más pequeño todavía, right? <laughs> smaller is the comparative for small. Es la forma comparativa de, de, de small, pequeño, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see here the, the context. Eh, come from uh, ah okay. Uh, a lot of families are small. Muchas familias son más pequeñas, más pequeñas estos días, right? Se están haciendo más pequeñas. And it's true in Latin America, right? Hoy tenemos la tendencia a reducir el grupo de, de niños Latin America, so smaller. Good. Any extra question? No? Okay, please. Not, notice the quantifiers. Look, many brothers. Brothers are countable or not countable, Rolando? Brothers are countable or not countable, Rolando? Uh, not countable. Mm -hmm. One brother, two not brothers, three brothers. Contable or no contable? Uh -huh. hey. How many brothers and sisters? Hey. Remember the characteristic of contable. They are contable. You can say one, two, three, four. They are separable and they are singular and plural. So brothers are separable. You can put one brother here and one brother there. Is possible that? Yes, right? So brothers uh, is? No con contable. Contable, yes, contable. You can say one brother, two brothers, three brothers, right? Cuánto? Contable okay, is what? you can count, right? Contable es lo que se puede contar, ¿eh? contable. So a uh, brother. Okay, sí, sí. Yes. But in the case of, uh, for example, salt, rice, uh, oil is not countable. So you cannot say many oil. No, no, no possible, right? Okay, thank you, Rolando. Sí, no. que la, está, la estaba traduciendo. Porque... Ah, no, 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 please. No Spanish. <laughs> okay. Most... No, no, no. No, no problem. Hey, I, understand. Hey. I understand, Rolando. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, uh, Claudia Xiomara, please. Families, F 
¿Families are countable o no countable? Claudia Xiomara. Mm. Contable. Contable. Very good. Thank you. Most countable. But you can use most with both, right? Podemos usar el most para ambos, para contable y no contable. Most water is polluted in El Salvador. La mayoría de agua está contaminada en El Salvador. Most water is polluted. Most families are uh, big in El Salvador, right? Bueno, no sé, no, no tengo la estadística, pero este es el ejemplo. Most families are big in El Salvador, right? Okay, and then let me see another example. Another example. Um, a lot of, a lot of, right? A lot of, it's mucho, ¿verdad? Muchas familias. You can use a lot of with countable and no countable. Okay, good. Now, we're going to listen to the audio and repeat, please. Listen to the audio and repeat. Ready? I come from a big family. Repeat. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I... Oops, oops. I'm an only child. Actually, I am an only child. Is that right? Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, so let me see. We have time. Ooh, no time, no time. So we're going to practice the conversation tomorrow. And now let me see. Uh, the knowledge check. Let me see if we can cover this. No, the knowledge check is for tomorrow. So yes, we're going to practice. We have five minutes of practice, right? Let me see who haven't participated. Vamos a ver quién no nos ha participado este día, right? Um, let me see. We're going to, I need the help of the two Claudia, right? La, Claudia Castro and Claudia Xiomara. Claudia Castro, okay. are you there? Okay. Yes, okay. Vamos a ver. Las dos Clauditas aquí, okay. Claudia Xiomara, you're going to be Marcos. And Claudia Castro, you're going to be Meili, right? Ready? Ready. Okay. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am I am an only child. Really? Yeah. Most family in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow! Is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are small, small, but but big families are great because you get a lot of. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, only this is child, child, right? Child. Good. Let me see. More participation. Child. Thank you for the Claudias. Thank, thank you very much. And my, no me ha participado my, verdad? My and Luis Carranza todavía no le funciona, verdad? El micrófono, verdad? Luis. Hello, Luis. No, qué problema. Bueno. 
Eh, vamos a ver quién no me ha participado. Uh, vamos a ver con quién practica Mai. Eh, Carolina ya me participó, ¿verdad, Carolina? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, Alicia. Ayúdeme ahí, Alicia, por favor. Ok. Practíqueme con Mai. Eh, Alicia, you are Marcos. En Mai, you are May Lee. Ready? Okay. okay. Yes. Come on. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mayli? Actually, I am only, chi only child. Really? Yeah, most family is China. How? Have only one children no all days. I didn't know that. And what about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of family are small. They're they very. <laughs> <laughs> are smaller. This day, this day, but a uh, big familiar for great because you get lots of uh, birthday present. Okay, B birthday, birth, Bir birthday present. Mm, like, like, sa, 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 po, right? Birthday. Birth, birthday. Birthday. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Happy birthday. Because it will say birthday, right? So, regalo de pajarito. <laughs> Okay, verde. Bear. Birth. Okay. <laughs> suena, suena, suena como divertido. But birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Birthday. Birthday. Uh -huh. El Salvador, we say verde. <laughs> okay. Verde. Thank, thank you, uh, Caro, and thank you, uh, Mai. And remember the pronunciation of this is child, right? Child. Okay, that's it. I don't know if you have any extra question. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, tell me. Ah, pero eh, no vimos solo... el video de Quantifier, ¿verdad? No. No lo vimos. Ah, bueno, mañana entonces. Eh, perdón, aquí sí le fallé porque teníamos que haber visto este video ahora. Bien, eh, Rolando, dígame por favor antes de terminar la clase. Con lo, que la, con lo que la compañera decía antes de terminar, teacher. Uh -huh. Lo de la impresión del, del diploma. Sí, sí. Es ahí, en mi ahí caso. Vi los mensajes, ahí los vi los mensajes en el grupo. Solo que en PDF no lo tira en dos páginas siempre. Siempre. Sí. Pues sí, pero a usted le funcionó, Rolando. O sea, por eso le mandé a la compañera para decirle uh -huh, que sí. yo lo hice con captura de pantalla, igual que la vez pasada. Sí, sí. En PDF sí. me lo tira en dos, en dos. No se puede en PDF, entonces. Bueno, entonces sigamos ahí el, el consejo de Rolando, ¿verdad? A ver cómo nos va y que quede bien bonito. Ahí en la esquinita, digan. En la esquinita. Letra chiquita, te voy a decir, thank you, teacher Javier Gómez. Ok. Sí. <laughs> ok, have Very a good night. Good. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Have a, a bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night.